This video will be uh, applying the distributive property, adding like terms, and then solving the equation. And here's example one, uh, yeah, well, two examples really. And uh, we'll do the first one together, and then I'll see if you can do press pause and do this one by yourself. So let's begin with this. And um, so we write down 3x minus 2 times 4x minus 1 in parentheses equals negative 2. Okay? So write it down and we'll do it together <clears throat> and see if you can take the first step. So, so there's a couple of things to talk about here. One is that, I don't know, but I guess sometimes students are tempted to look at the 3x minus 2 and subtract and make that 1 something, 1x or 1 or whatever, but we cannot do that. Do you know why? You cannot subtract there. Why can't you do that? There are two reasons actually. Two reasons you can't do that. One is they're not like terms, but more importantly, you have to follow PEMDAS. You have to think about the order of operations. Okay? So we gotta think about PEMDAS. And PEMDAS says that we can't subtract at first. We've got to multiply. So we've got to multiply. Up before we subtract or add, right? So we've got to multiply with the 2 or in fact the negative 2 to be more accurate and we've got to apply the distributive property. So basically in these, quest in these questions we apply the distributive property then we add like terms and then we solve it, okay? If it helps you can think of that subtraction sign as plus negative See that? So now it says 3x plus negative 2 being multiplied inside here. Okay? So go ahead and multiply negative 2 with the distributive property in here, and what do you get? So negative 2 times 4x is negative 8x. Negative 2 times negative 1. Negative 2 times negative 1. What does that give you? Negative 2 times negative 1 is positive 2. Okay? Positive 2. And then you write out the rest of the equation. But that's a very important step. If you get this step right, I think you should be okay for the rest. So that's really the key. And here, you can see in this example, the key is going to be applying the distributive property here. Right? So if we write out the rest of the equation, it's 3x minus 8x plus 2 equals negative 2. The next step is to add like terms. So we've applied the distributive property. Now we're going to add like terms and then we're going to solve. So what like terms do we have that we can add? And sometimes you'll add on the right, sometimes you'll add on the left, sometimes you add on both. But what are the like terms that we can see here? So you've got a 3x and an 8x, although that's actually a negative 8x, isn't it? It's a 3x and a negative 8x, right? And whenever you see a subtraction sign, if you want to, you can do this, plus negative. Now it says 3x plus negative 8x. That's 3 positives plus 8 negatives. 3 good guys and 8 bad guys, right? And when you combine those, you get negative 5x, right? And then you write out the rest of the equation, okay? Now we need to solve it. So can you solve it from here? What would you do next? Would you subtract 2 maybe? What do you get on both sides if you subtract 2? You would get 2 minus 2 is 0. You would get a negative 5x on the left. And on the right, you would get negative 2 minus 2. In debt, $2, subtract $2, what happens? Um, two bad guys and two more bad guys gives what? Negative 4, 4 bad guys. Now this is negative 5 times x equals negative 4. So how do we get x on its own? How do we get the answer? 
we divide by negative 5 on both sides. And that gives negative over negative positive. 5 over 5 is 1, a positive 1x, or simply x. And what do you get on the right hand side? Negative over negative, positive, four fifths. Does that make sense? Negative over negative just makes positive. So it's just x equals four fifths. Okay? So please write this one down and then press pause and do it yourself. Um, oh, by the way, I just want to quickly say let's look at the steps we took. We applied the distributive property, we multiplied in by a negative two. See that? That was the first step, right? Then we went 3x and negative 8x made negative 5x. That was adding like terms. Okay. When there were no more add, add, no more like terms to add, then we solved the equation. Okay. So three steps: distributive property, adding like terms, solving the equation. Okay. And the same thing is going to apply here. So by all means, press pause, try it yourself. Hey, if you get it wrong, that's fine because you might learn something from the video of what to do and what not to do. So that's a good thing. Okay, I hope you press pause and give it a go. I'm going to go over it now. And again, as I say, the first step is to do the, the distributive property. And again, I'm going to chat about um, a common confusion students have. Like sometimes they might look at this negative 5 minus 3 and go, hey, that's negative 8 something. Right? Now that's completely wrong. Why is that wrong? Two reasons. One is they're not like terms, but even more importantly, we can't do that anyway because of PEMDAS. See, PEMDAS says you got to multiply and then subtract. You can't start out uh, simplifying something by uh, subtracting like that. When you have a multiplication, that has to be done before the subtraction. Okay, so you got to multiply first, and it's three times that. Or although it's not just three, it's actually negative three times everything in there. And if you want to, you can change subtraction to plus negative. And now it says negative 5x plus negative 3 times everything inside here. So we, we've got to apply the distributive property with the negative 3. So go ahead and write down what the next line should be. So negative 3 times x, negative 3x. Negative 3 times negative 2. That's a negative times a negative. What does that give? Negative times negative. Positive 6. So if you get this part, I think the rest should go okay because you have a lot of practice in the rest. But this part, giving you negative 3x plus 6. Okay, and then write out the rest of the equation, keep going. Okay, so then we've got to add like terms. So we've applied the distributive property, right? We've done the distributive property, and now we're on to adding like terms. Now, what terms do we have that we can add together on either side of the equation? Well, if you look here, don't we have a negative 5x and a negative 3x, okay? Negative 5x and negative 3x. Or if you want to, you can think of this as plus negative. So it's a negative 5x plus negative 3x, okay? What do they make when you put them together? How many x's is that? Well, that's a negative 8x, isn't it? And then write out the rest of the equation. Now, can you solve it from here? If you haven't done so yet, press pause, solve the equation from here, and check your answer. Okay, I'll do it now. So we've got, a, we've got x being multiplied by negative 8, and then 6 is being added. So we need to subtract 6 from both sides. Okay, and then we have negative 8x is equal to 4 minus 6, positive 4, negative 6. 4 positive, 6 negatives, negative 2. x is being multiplied by negative 8. Okay? To get it by itself we need to divide by negative 8 on both sides. Okay. Now what does that give us? 
And you might need to put your fraction in lowest terms. So go ahead and, and get the answer, put the fraction in lowest terms. Can you do that? So negative over negative was positive. 8 over 8 is 1, 1x. One so we have x or 1x. Okay? Equals. Now this is negative over negative, isn't it? And that makes positive. And you can also cross cancel because 2 into 2 goes once, 2 into 8 goes 4 times. So this is x equals positive 1 quarter, right? If you want, you could have written that as negative over negative positive 2 eighths and then cross cancel. Okay? But in any case, you should get x is 1 quarter.